A major Magic the Gathering YouTuber has decided to quit making all Magic content. And the straw that broke the camel's back was being blacklisted by Wizards of the Coast. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here today to talk about what has just happened with the Aether Hub. Now, for people who are not in the know, basically two days ago, the Aether Hub decided that he was no longer going to be a Magic Channel. Now, he abruptly, at least to his fan base, he abruptly shifted to a different direction and said, okay, I'm a Pokemon channel by just straight up releasing a Pokemon video, also changing the name of his channel to the Trick Room, the description to talk about Pokemon, the entire thing. It was basically just, bam, resurfaced as a Pokemon YouTube channel. So then he said that he was going to put out a video explaining it to everybody because he originally had just described in a tweet that he was essentially done. And also like in his discussionary, but either way, he felt like an entire video was necessary. So he put out the video and he outlined all of the different issues that he had with Magic the Gathering and why he was leaving. And just to get a perspective here, because I did say a major YouTuber, the Aether Hub has 75,000 subscribers on YouTube. That puts him well within the top 1% of all channels on YouTube, not just in Magic the Gathering, but overall on the entirety of YouTube. He had been doing this for, I believe, six years, cranking out Magic the Gathering lore. Now, the thing about Magic the Gathering lore is, underneath it, you can argue that it is advertising for Wizards of the Coast in that well well put together lore videos make people excited about the lore and the characters it makes them more excited about magic the gathering in general and also makes them want to own specific cards either way it drives people into playing magic the gathering and giving wizards of the coast money and i know this because i had lore videos that got that kind of response from people like thank you for bringing me back to this i love this so much i bought this and this and this and they're spending all this money and getting excited and i remember at a certain point looking at that going well, there's, there's an unexpected side effect of lore videos. I just wanted to share what I genuinely enjoy. I was not expecting it. Oh, yeah, it actually adds a dimension of value to Wizards of the Coast by making their product more attractive. So, Aetherhub had been making these types of videos for years, covering all kinds of different magic lore to the point where, again, as I said, he got 75,000 different people to follow him. So, you would figure... Under these circumstances that I've laid out, a channel this big with that many followers that's constantly making all of these lore videos to get blacklisted, and for a while, in all honesty, he was essentially secretly blacklisted for the period of time he couldn't even get a response from the company, which seemed to be months and months from his video. We'll talk about, uh, we'll talk more about the video, but I will leave a link to the entire thing down there. I suggest that if you want to go and hear it all in the man's own words, as opposed to me paraphrasing then the link will be there for you to check it out. Obviously, go on over, show some support for a man who's made a decision, he's going to try something, and uh, hopefully it goes well for him. But anyways, we've got this situation where he starts talking in his video about all the different reasons that he is leaving, and the one that stuck out the most to me, obviously, is him being blacklisted. He eventually found out that he was indeed blacklisted. That's his wording for it, even his own video. This isn't me coming up with some, like, gussy it up kind of language he definitely indicated that he felt he has been blacklisted as well so you figure to get blacklisted somebody who's put in this much in terms of making great videos hyping up the products the products for the company without specifically being like go team wizards i love you and i will advertise for you it's just a side effect of what he's doing but either way it creates a beneficial effect for wizards of the coast so obviously he must have done something really really egregious right to get blacklisted like it must be some over-the-top stuff that he's doing to be told, no, you can't, you can't have spoiler cards from us kind of deal. Well, uh, here's what happened. He basically tweeted at Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast had just tweeted about Core 2020. And they said, hey, this is the, uh, look at this, is like Chandra and her different incarnations growing up kind of thing. And Aetherhub, in, in his audacity, it just being so brazen. Do you know what he said in response? He said, Oh, we've, we've, I remember, I'm paraphrasing here, but he basically said, oh, we've had Chandra's history before. Can we please add something different to the game? 
He basically just wants variety. That's that's it. That's the tweet. And if you think to yourself, nah, that can't possibly be it. Well, he kept emailing Wizards of the Coast about spoiler cards. He finally gets a response back. And do you know what it links to? Do you know what it links to when it says, first of all, it says, no, uh, we're not going to give you a spoiler card right now because it seems like you don't really like the theme of this set. Maybe next time. And it links him to his tweet asking for more variety. Just, can we get more than this? Can you please not do the same thing you did before? He even used the word please. It's such a, it is such a polite tweet. So he gets blacklisted for this. And that's the final straw for him. But if you go to the video and listen, he will actually give a number of reasons as to why he's left Magic. Some are things as simple as he just doesn't have people he plays with anymore. If he's not playing in his area, he doesn't have people to talk with it about. So it's kind of like, eh, all right. It's not pulling in his interest the same way. But he does have negative things to say about Wizards of the Coast as well. He talks about how, as a lore channel, the War of the Spark storyline marked a point where he just could no longer justify or feel excited about talking about the story anymore. And I can completely understand that. The War of the Spark novel was absolutely egregious. It was just garbage that was foisted upon us. So I can completely understand why, as a channel that's solely lore, just 100% lore, how he would just be like, oh, I'm done. I, I can't. Like, are you kidding me? That's, I, I read, I haven't even read the entire War of the Spark book. I refuse. It's so awful. I won't do it to myself. There's no, I don't even care. It'd be like, oh, the, might be able to find some funny things in it. It's like, I can't read it. It's a nightmare. It's just garbage. So you look at the care they're taking with their own game. He also talks about how, oh, all my cards are like curled up garbage. He's talking about how Wizards of the Coast doesn't care and they're just in it for the money now and they're just printing low quality money, essentially. And he just goes on about all these different issues, how he just feels burnt out. And some people who know his channel will know like a year ago that he decided to like step away from magic. He came back. I've done the same thing. I stepped away from making magic content for a bit out of rage over the, uh, the way that they were like pricing certain products and the way that they don't seem to care about their customers. So I, I, I had my moment where I was like, you know what? I need my breathing room from this game too. So I understand at this point, he's completely... Just said, all right, I'm done, honestly. Getting a response back like that, like, how infantile is that? How infantile of a response from a company is that? When you turn around and go, well, you know what? I, you didn't 100% praise what we did, and you want something more than Chandra, and you hurt my feelings, so maybe next time, buddy. By the way, here's the tweet that made this a problem for me. And it's like, all right, like, that, that level of behavior is absurd to me. How can... How can a corporation behave this way? They are they're foisting out these spoiler cards on tons of different channels. This guy's got a massive lore channel, and because he wants some variety and isn't absolutely praising them, it's like, nope, welcome to the blacklist. He talks about it. He talks about it in his video, and it 100%, like, he, he has the screenshots, too. This isn't just some, like, oh, I'm making it up or taking his word for it. He's got all the screenshots to show all the different times he tried to contact them during his, essentially, to me, what would be a secret blacklist where they weren't even bothering to respond to him, and then to just get back the, oh, here you go, you know what, here's that tweet that you sent saying you did Chandra before. If you need to praise us, that's your only option maybe next time like that and he even talks about how getting those spoiler cards is nice but it doesn't actually really do much for the channel it's just a way for wizards of the coast to be like okay here's a here's a reward we can give people that's essentially just free for us it doesn't cost us anything we get to use them as an advertising vector although he did admit that it does mean that wizards acknowledges you and they just go oh yeah you know what we somewhat in a way approve of this individual so you just have that all removed. Just, oh, just because he decided that he wanted more than what they were handing out. It's like, eat the gruel slop, no complaints whatsoever. If you complain even slightly, you will be just cast off to the side. Wizards of the Coast would be like, no, we're not doing anything with you. Like, do you think for a second they would do anything with me? There's no way, there's no way, because I point out the problems that I have. I don't just sit back and go, oh, you know what, that's, that's fine. I guess I'm not happy with these things that you're doing, but instead of saying something so you'll improve it, I'll just keep quiet and sit there and be your cheerleader. So I can understand why after so long of honestly just cranking out lore and like feel you start to feel disillusioned with the company, realize they genuinely don't care about you. 
Like that you do not matter to them. And they're just like, whatever, man, you're trash to us. You're not towing the company line today and saying exactly what we want you to say. They basically play this game of like, smarten up and fly right. And maybe, maybe you'll get a chance. Maybe you get a chance. As far as I understand, they do that same kind of stuff to, uh, there's some Twitch streamers. The name, the names are eluding me right now, but they do that sort of thing where it's like, you're literally not allowed to say anything negative about Wizards of the Coast. Although, you know what? Um, Aetherhub does give a, give an example of somebody who is allowed to criticize Wizards of the Coast and get away with it. Because there, there is, there, there, there are, there are some people, one specifically. And if you want to know, if you want to know who I'm talking about, well, I guess you're going to actually have to go and watch his video, right? Because that's only fair. I'm not going to tell you everything about his video here. I just wanted to talk about the scenario because it's insane. I can't believe that Wizards of the Coast would roll this way. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. I can totally believe that they would roll this way. But either way, go hit up Aether Hub's channel. It's called The Trick Room now. Send him your regards. Wish him well on the new journey. Give him your condolences for what happened to him. Whatever you want to do. But go on by and see what's up over there. Who knows? Maybe what he's doing is for you now. I'm not into Pokemon, but you could be. Either way, for now, I just wanted to say thanks to my patrons and channel members. And I'm history, baby!